Alrighty, next in the list is the Audacious. So we will do an Audacious game. Audacious is a British CV. Uh, British CVs suffer from low pen. So 28 millimeter pen on the rockets means she can't pen tier 10 heavy cruisers that have 30 mil plate. 41 mil on the bombs means she can't pen battleships that have larger than 41 millimeters, which British, French, and US uh, battleships she can rip into, everything else is going to get a lot of shatters. And you don't control where the bombs go. It's a pretty large reticle. For the uh, upgrades, slot 1 and slot 2, just pick the plain ones. Slot 3 is going to be torpedo speed. Uh, secondaries and additional time don't matter, although additional time means you could try to turn the torpedoes, but it, it's not a big deal. Um, additional torpedo is going to mean this is our most consistent damage. Bombs might shatter, rockets might shatter, so this is at least something we can count on. Uh, flight control mod for two additional planes and bonus regen. In general, British have a lot of health, but not many resources. That shores up that weakness. And then I do enjoy the, um, the unique module, which reduces our detection, makes it a little more maneuverable as a carrier, and also gives us more boost. And I love boost. Uh, translates to a little more speed. It translates to a little less health lost. You know, if you can juke flak better, I like boost. For the commander, more faster, healthier, base 9 point build for every CV in the game. Additional torpedo throughput, because that's what we can count on. Additional fire chance, because we have a lot of rockets and a lot of bombs. Uh, more fighters for versatility. Patrol range is fun. And then uh, we have boost talents. Let me double check that we don't have any flags. We do not. Warspite, Issei, and West Virginia, top three. So West Virginia have, uh, have AA? Yeah, I don't know. I do think the Issei is, is going to be a, a, a strong pick, although I think her shells are floaty. They're accurate, but I think they're very floaty, which means it's less likely you're going to be scoring big hits. What targets do you go for with rockets on Audacious? Uh, targets you can pen. You can pen DDs, although interacting with destroyers is hard. Uh, but you can pen lower tier cruisers, so we could rip the shit out of a Chappie and a Tagawa mains, because these are going to have like 27 or 25 millimeter plating. So we could actually hit those for like 12 to 15k. You say armor pen is kind of trash? Well, yeah, probably against battleships, but are the guns big enough to fuck cruisers? Because there's going to be mostly cruisers in the game, right? In a clan battle season, it's primarily cruisers that run around. So, unless you're going against a full destroyer division, I mean, you, you'll you have more than enough armor, uh, more than enough pen to rip into a carrier hull, or enough pen to rip into a cruiser hull. And then you have cruisers and stuff to shell down the enemy battleships, or destroyers to torp them, or carriers to torp them. Speaking of, if you are a battleship player in the season, I would recommend taking the talent that reduces your torpedo damage because odds are CVs will be torping you, as well as destroyers will be torping you, as well as Issei's might be torping you. So your expectation of torpedo damage is probably more significant than you might think. So I think it's getting altered, so it's only a plus 7% reduction in torpedo damage, but it's becoming a two-point talent, which is not shit. Alrighty, so uh, rocket plane's actually very slow. Uh, that does mean that it's less likely that we overfly a DD, but uh, is something to know. And let's try to keep our boost going just in case we trip across. Don't want to burn all my boost. I'll burn a little bit of it. Akazuki. Can we do something with the Akazuki? There's a Cossack as well. Are they divved? Oh, they are. Interesting. All right, so we can hard turn this and cut off some of the distance. Three seconds on the drop. It's probably about here. Two, three, shoot. There you go. Concentrate fire on the designated target. That works out pretty well. He's going to keep telling me where he is, which I appreciate. Although he's starting to angle more, which is not as helpful. Two, three, shoot. Not nearly as good there. And we have 2,000 health on the rocket plane, so we might be able to shoot again. It's not going to be incredible, but it should be something. And that'll be fine. 
Montana, Yamato, they're close together. Alabama is something that we could go after. Kag's not going to be able to do anything, but Chappie might be able to rip into some DDs, and we can actually move up. Auto so it is a tier 10, uh, tier 10 CV, so we have enough armor to be able to bounce AP shells from long-range battleships. We could play a little more aggressively, also because we're taking the reduced concealment off of... Um, He's going to strike the Baltimore. That's a problem, because Baltis can't heal. Where are you going, little Baltimore? What are you doing? Uh, you might want to work on the Kerr first. Balti keeps turning. He might take two Torps, but that fighter interacts with him. So that's going to matter. Don't really have a line on that. Cool. Trimmed off a bunch of his uh, torpedo planes. Kag didn't want any part of that shit. We might be able to bomb the Des Moines. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. Okay, interesting. Drop that to kind of give some spotting as well as prevent the DDs from doing silly DD shit. And I guess we're just gonna bomb the Des Moines because everything else is really grouped up. It's all kind of clumped up targets and shit. We're gonna use the slingshot timing to come over and turn. So that we can start getting ready for the follow-up strike. I need I probably needed to skip the animation just a little bit earlier so that we could have started our attack run sooner. Not sure what he does there. Uh, I'd love to bomb the Montana or maybe torp the Otago. Got decent strikes in on that. I don't know how hurt he is, but it was pretty decent. Hey, dudes, where the fuck are you going? Teammate, I need your support. Come on, guys. Shoot the stuff over here. Where are you going? Let's refighter the Baltimore. I feel like the uh, Hikuryu is probably going to be on top of this guy. Do we have the ability to interact with the Otago? Fighter airborne. Oh, that fighter is a problem. Hopefully the Balti doesn't die. We have a heal. Probably need to deal with this. Does he beach? That's a question. So, I think he actually does. We can heal through the fighter. We have an engine boost so that we can just ride this real hard. Pretty sure that's a beach. It is. Fighter latches. We have a heal though. Once the fighter makes the little pew pew noises, we need to pop the heal. Try to heal through what we can. Still gonna lose... Well, we lost health, but... Uh, he definitely eats two, he might eat three. The question is if we can drop him again. Why are these battleships bailing on this flank? I think he starts pulling forward because he doesn't want to be torqued. People are going to tend to try to dodge. Hopefully he eats all three there. Sadly, the Balti is dead. We got two. Maybe we can work on the Montana now? Autopilot mode enabled. Otago probably pulled forward, which means he's down there. We might be able to finalize that. Can drop a fighter for the CAG because it looks like he's playing scared. There's the Otago. We have an engine boost in eight seconds. If we can make it work. Yam's AA is not great. Otago's AA we already saw is not amazing. Is he still flooding? He is. Can we hard turn this? Some. Plus he's flooding, which means he can't really maneuver very well. He might eat those. Eats one. Reached. Not enough. Broke his engine though. That's cool. He repaired it. That should be a kill. Let's take bombs for the Montana. Georgia, what the fuck? Where, where are they going? What's the promised land over here where there's an island in the way and you can't shoot anything? That doesn't make any sense, friends. What are you doing? Uh, Georgia guns are actually a problem. No, reverse, reverse, go backward. That's what you do, you go backward. All right, so we're gonna work on the Montana here 
And I might have to manually set this in reverse because this Montana is just gonna fucking YOLO the flank. Um... He, he gives every indication of just using the W key a lot. Let's see if we can turn this in. Realistically, when it comes to to British bombs, we want to be bomb bombing from behind. I'm going to skip the animation about here. So we can try to reload right about the time that we get online for the drop. And he's just going to keep turning. Good news is it stops his push. About halfway on. That should land pretty okay. Let's see how it works out. Pretty decent. About 13k in the fire. Destination reached. Gonna bomb the Montana Autopilot again. Mode disabled. Autopilot mode there we enabled. go. Now that we're drifting backwards, autopilot will give a shit. We're gonna stay on the Montana. The reason why we're on this is because our bombs have 41 millimeters of pen. So we're not gonna do much against the Yamato. We're not gonna do much against the Kerr first. You know, we could try to do something against the Georgia. That'd be nice. Why, why are you not over here so that we can... It's just, it, it hurts. It doesn't make any sense. Alright. Montana's and uh, damage con is down because we did set a fire and he's not burning. So we get to drop from the from behind again. Right about there. Destination reached. Mode Single fire and sadness. There's a DD. Where is the DD? Mid? I'll be honest, I don't know. Autopilot mode enabled. Hmm. <sighs> Here we go. It's our little friend. How are you doing, little friend? It's been a bit. Little friend smokes up. I, I don't understand why we just threw away this flank. Does it make any sense? Fighter destroyed. Started to slow down and turn a little there. I'm gonna skip that so we can start setting up the next strike. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Please give me a shot. Please give me a shot. Nobody else gives a shit about this. He turns in. For some reason he's not using smoke. Slam on the brakes. Destination there. Reached. Autopilot Fighter. Mode disabled. Concentrate More fire rockets. Autopilot mode. Fighter airborne. Got a decent hit. Affirmative. Put out the fire. Fighters keep him lit. It's too much shit everywhere. Maybe we can start torping the Yamato. Because the Montana's kind of gone, right? Montana's checked out. He screamed peace a little while ago. Cut this and try to come back in. Direct front. Nice. Destroyer blown up. Autopilot mode disabled. There we go. Cool. Torps for the yam. I don't have ways in over here. They finally dealt front. with the Georgia. Those are gonna peter out just like the others did. Yeah. Uh, where is his little Cossack bro though? We're not detected. Let's keep pushing Autopilot forward. Autopilot mode enabled. Hmm. Need spotting. Mon there's the Monty. Monty's further south. GK 50. Monty takes shots. Is he burning? He's not. Popping the heal only because I expected to eat flak there. Maybe we'll catch a twerp on the rear of the ship, although I think I might have actually under aimed. I think that twerp just misses. It did. I under aimed. But I did get a flood, which is nice. So at least we have that. Did he repair it? He did. Can we drop at a distance? He did not repair. Sorry. It just looks like he does sometimes. I have more torpedoes that I could use. Bomb-wise, I probably want to bomb the Montana. Broke his engine. That's got to get repaired, right? Right? Autopilot mode enabled. Still, still down. Let's see. We can keep working on this somehow. Let's get more of the uh, spotterina wing. And we'll try and set fires on the Yamato. I'm assuming he damage conned. Maybe. I would rather bomb the Montana. I'm assuming the Yamato's damage con is down. Destination 
nothing. See all these shatters? That doesn't happen against the Montana. That only happens against the Yamato. is frustrating. Thank you very much for the eight months, dead weight. Yeehaw, dude. I think we have to bomb Montana again, assuming we still have bombs to do it with. We do have some. Do we have more? Well, we do. Okay, good. We got a flood on the Montana. He probably repairs that. The question is if we actually get get to drop with only four planes. Concentrate fire on the designated that I don't target. know. We are not detected by the Cossack, which is cool. Drop a fighter again fighter for keeping drawing. shit lit. Destination reached. Looks like he did disabled. repair the flood. Although I think he has that 20 second repair cooldown or whatever that the US has. Just do the thing. Maybe we'll throw more torps. Alright, so we've taken 1.2 million damage. I think that's helpful, right? That's useful somehow, isn't it? Maybe? Hakuryu moved up as well. Cossack might want to move in. What do we have shots on? Kerfirst? Alright, well. Cossack doesn't spot us anymore. We can definitely hit the Kerfirst. Going for the Hikuryu, I don't think it matters right now. Not to say that he's not an important ship, but I don't think we're gonna get a kill on it. Take the drop, more torps. Running low on shit. How do I deal with the Cossack? Try to rocket it. Cossack players always played better than his div mate. That's not a flood. Good hits on the hack, that's good. It's turning in front of a Montana, probably keeps turning, right? Maybe. I have one more set of fires. Fighters. Is he still reversing? I'm too low to not reverse. I have to. Teammate, I need your support. There's our friend. Cool. Little friend man is down. Battle ends in five minutes. Autopilot mode enabled. As much as I don't want to throw this away, I think we still need fucking board position. So we were able to heal through that. Can bomb the Alabama for full value. I could rocket the Cossack. Still have a lot of rockets. One Torp? All forces. Did I just miss area. all of that? I guess I did. God. I might just have to spot. Hey, get in the cap. You, move forward. Do stuff. They only have a 300 point lead with four minutes to go. That's, that's recoverable, right? Yeah, that's no damage. GK might be able to make a surprise motherfucker moment here. We need caps. That part's kind of important. If the Republic grows some balls and comes out and spots some stuff, then I don't have to. Good news is, Cossack is over there. Okay, got double fire. We're gonna get on Charlie. All stations, proceed to capture that area. Requesting assistance. Yeah, I know. Life is hard. Just do stuff. Stop hiding, man. You got all this health to use. All this health to throw away. It'll be great. It'll be glorious. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Glorious purpose, so saith Loki. We can convert just a few kills here. The Minnesota doesn't chicken shit out. Kerfer's dealing with the Yamato. Come on. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, he out accelerated the torpedoes. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Whatever. You do what you need to do. Take rockets. Spotted by the... He goes down soon. Cossack is lit. Can we do something against the Cossack? Probably not. Can we do something against the Yamato? Probably not. Yamato doesn't kill us in one shot, probably. Yeah, it takes two. It takes two, baby. Can't kill that. How long until he shoots again? Whatever. Autopilot mode enabled. Let's see if we can take off rocket planes just before we die. See if we can do something about the Cossack. I think we got a fire on that. Yeah, this dude. No, nah, no, nah, man. It's all you, bro. The enemy team has taken the lead. There is no forward, only Zul. Oh, one hit on the Yamato. Plus a fire or a flood. That might actually stick. Two, three. Hey, look, it sucked. Okay. Yeah, Cossack played much better than the Akazuki, his div friend or whatever. Um, 50 seconds or 10, really, because of points, so. It matters not. Is what it is. Pew pew. And points. <sighs> of course, no joke at this time to accompany the subscription. <laughs> Off to bed. We'll see you, dead weight. All right. Uh, it, good night if I missed you. I hope you sleep well, sir. Blindfolded? Oh, that's the... That's the Dutch thing, right? Yeah, okay. So, what? <laughs> so, we tried. Yamato rolled huge. So, congratulations to you, I guess. That's a pretty sexy little game. I don't know how the fuck you just, like... Slapped the, uh, GK. But, evidently, he did. 